Today on Famous Graves, we visit the historic Evergreen Cemetery, located in Jacksonville, Florida. Established in 1880, Evergreen is the oldest fully operating cemetery in the city. With over 100,000 graves, Evergreen's rich in both North Florida history and culture. Part of that rich history is Evergreen's connection to the luxury steamship, the RMS Titanic. A total of 1,517 people perished in the sinking of the Titanic, while 706 survived to see another day. From the 2,223 people on board, three of these people are laid to rest at Evergreen Cemetery. Join us as we search for the graves and pay tribute to those lost in the Titanic and those who survived now laid to rest at Evergreen Cemetery. Our first stop today is at the Coleman Family Monument. The angel statue that overlooks the family plots was the second one made for the family. In 1908, the matriarch Ida Coleman ordered a statue be built in Italy to oversee her family plots. In 1912, the original statue was on board and went down with the Titanic. In 1914, the replacement statue arrived and sits above generations of the Coleman family. Next, we visit a truly unique grave in both Florida and the Titanic's history. Reverend Robert James Bateman, better known to many as Uncle Bob. Reverend Bateman was born in England on October the 14th, 1859, and is the only Floridian lost during the sinking of the Titanic. Reverend Bateman and his wife, Emily Jane Hall, immigrated to the United States and settled in Jacksonville, Florida. He came to Jacksonville believing there was a need and established the Central City Mission. The mission served 1,300 meals to the hungry a month and provided shelter to 836 homeless men at night. One newspaper called Bateman, the man who distributes more human sunshine than any other. Even President Theodore Roosevelt invited Reverend Bateman to the White House to discuss his good work. In 1912, Robert returned to England to visit his family. Returning to America, he accompanied his sister-in-law, Ada Balls, on that doomed voyage of the Titanic. Miss Ada Balls narrowly survived the sinking of the Titanic and later was a witness to the events that fateful night. Ada was awoken when Robert banged on her door frantically telling her to come with him immediately. He saved her life by putting her in lifeboat number 10. Miss Balls was the last person placed in the last lifeboat to leave the Titanic that fateful night, leaving Robert and over 1,500 others to meet their certain death. Miss Ball later shared her experience with reporters. I will never forget Robert as he stood on the deck with me. The boat is slanting, I told him. Yes, he answered. We have struck terribly hard. Well, I said if there's any danger, I am ready. He replied, thank God, so am I. As he loaded me on the last lifeboat, he said, don't be nervous. This is a test of our faith. If we never meet again on this earth, we will meet again in heaven. As the boat lowered, Robert stepped on the railway and threw me his silk handkerchief. Put this around your throat as not to catch cold. Reverend Bateman's body was found by the vessel 
Mackie Bennett on May the 6th, 1912, and returned to Jacksonville, Florida, and was buried on May the 12th, 1912, in Evergreen Cemetery. Next, we visit the grave of Amelia Garrett Isaac. Amelia started her life in a much different place than Jacksonville, Florida. She and her brother were born in Lebanon and were on the Titanic on their way immigrating to America. Amelia and her brother were both third-class passengers, the part of the Titanic suffering the most loss during the sinking. Amelia and her brother Louis were part of a group of 13 traveling together. They were the only two of the group to survive, losing both family and friends. At approximately midnight, an elderly man led both her and her brother from the third class section to the first class deck to one of the very last lifeboats. Neither one of them spoke English and were totally dependent on the kindness of others. They both were thrown into the lifeboat and survived the sinking. Later when she described the man who put her in the lifeboat and saw pictures, it is now believed that John Astor is the man that saved both her and her 12 year old brother. Born in Lebanon, birth records were often not accurate. Amelia's tombstone reads she was born April 15, 1900. In fact, we now know she was born in 1898. Born April 15, 1898. It was Amelia's 14th birthday, the day the Titanic sank. Today we remember the life and the legacy of Amelia Garrett Isaac. Next, we visit the grave of Louis Garrett, the 12-year-old brother of Amelia. Louis's testimony was published in a popular French journal in 1982, where he gave details and his eyewitness account of the tragic events that night. Louis and his sister did immigrate to Jacksonville, Florida, where they resided until their deaths. Louis died in 1981 and is laid to rest close to his sister. Today, we honor and pay tribute to Lewis Garrett. Thank you for joining us for this unique piece of history at Evergreen Cemetery. Today we honor both the lost and the survivors of the RMS Titanic.